Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff or volunteer will share an object from the permanent collection and pose questions for discussion. Please check back at 10 a.m. every day for new work and a new conversation. Hello, I'm Homei Song, the Asian art curator at the Cincinnati Art Museum. Today, I would like to share with you the museum's really known collection of Asian lacquer. Lacquer is an amazing invention of Asian craft. Asian lacquer is made from the highly toxic sap of the lac tree, which previously grew wild in China. Lacquerware begins with a base made of wood, porcelain, or metal. Once coated with a thin layer of lacquer, the object is placed in a warm, humid, and draft-free cabinet to dry. Then another coat is applied, and the process is repeated many times. Since a high-quality lacquerware may require 30 or more coats, its production is time-consuming and costly. Known as the natural plastic of ancient China, lacquer has all the advantages of that material. It is resistant to water, acid, and to a certain extent, heat. Lacquerwares are treasured in China, Japan, and Korea for their durability, their versatility, and especially their beauty. The museum has about 200 pieces of Asian lacquer. The collection dates from the 14th to the 20th century and represents a wide range of styles and techniques. Here I will introduce two examples one from China and one from Japan. This Chinese carved lacquer box of the Ming Dynasty is coated with thick layers of red lacquer and carved in relief. The decoration on the lid depicts four scholars enjoying a literary gathering in a garden. Under a large tree, three scholars sit at a table Another one approaches with his attendant carrying a wrapped Chinese lute. The, Chinese, the scholar sitting at the center of the table is examining a scroll and a large group of antiques, including ancient Chinese bronze and ceramic vessels are placed on the ground in front of the table. The sides of the lid and box are decorated with carved flowers of the four seasons. The elegant motif and the style of carving all demonstrate that this lacquer box is a masterpiece of the Ming Dynasty. The next example is a Japanese lacquer box of the 19th century. This small black lacquer box is decorated with a beautiful design featuring plum blossoms. The flowers are double outlined in gold and filled in with intricately sprinkled tiny eggshell bits in white. The four flowers, two in full display and two half revealed, are placed against the black lacquered ground filled with water drop-like patterns created by mother of pearl inlay encircled in gold. The unique combination of colors and textures of the gold, black lacquer, dotted white, and gentle glow of mother of pearl created a dreamlike lyric beauty. I hope you have enjoyed looking at these two pieces of lacquer and uh, do you find Asian lacquer beautiful? Do you want to see more of our Asian lacquer wares? Please come and visit us at the Cincinnati Art Museum. 
and thank you for joining me for this chem look today.